Joe Selecki is uh, going to meet uh, Jared Gordon and uh, I've got to say that uh, Joe Selecki is uh, pretty much strong fighter looking like great 5 foot 9 17 inches is his reach black belt in BJJ Ryan score of 11-2 Joe Selecki is undefeated in the world of uh, UFC his only losses came prior to his UFC career undefeated at CFFC also I have to say, after then, a white contender series victory over James Wallace and uh, back-to-back <laughs> wins over Matt Weeman, Jim Miller and Austin Hubbard. I've got to say, this guy looks like an extremely, extremely big prospect. Now he's going to meet Jared Gordon, 5'9", 68 inches, great wrestler, boxer, BGG fighter, Burown belt in BGG, but his wrestling is top-notch. 17-4 is his score, riding on back-to-back losses with Chris Fishgold over Chris Fishgold and Danny Chavez. He lost to Charles Oliveira, Joaquim Silva, Carlos Diego Ferreira. But his victories over some other names are telling that the former CFFC featherweight champ is an extremely, extremely big name. Also holds a victory over Bill Algeo. He was better than Michel Quinonio, Shakran Diaz, then Moret also. Man, this is very hard match to deal with. For me at least, this is one of the hardest matches on the whole card. And uh, yeah, uh, book is our favorite in Joe Selecki. Which in some point might make sense, because uh, Joe Selecki is extremely skillful with that BGG, but I am worried because he lost to Nicolas Mota via TKO, so Mota was keeping that fight uh, standing, he lost via KO. Jared Gordon on the other side, he's a good boxer, but he will not try to keep the fight standing, as much as I know he's more of a ground dude, so I doubt he will try to keep this fight standing. If I have to pick a side, I'm going to go with Soleki, but my initial prediction, uh, that's going to be tough. That's going to be very, very tough. My initial prediction, well, Soleki either finishes early, uh, either he goes the distance. There's no much philosophy with Joe Soleki, so it's extremely, extremely hard, you know. I don't know, this time, I wouldn't pick a side in this fight, but... Uh, it seems I have no choice. I'm going to go with uh, Joe Selecki to win, but not, not much confident, but going with uh, Joe Selecki to win.